This is CPE 602, discrete mathematics for computer engineering. So we have a similar subject for undergraduate students as well, but uh, this course will be um, different from from that course. So my name is Yong Yut. Um, you can send me the best way to contact me is by email. Okay, this one. I have uh, an office hours in Wednesday and Friday. Okay. Basically, uh, you can see me, you know, I'm free in both day, both Wednesday and Friday. But that is the office hour that I will make sure that I will be there to uh, give you any comment or any suggestion. Uh, you can download um, the course materials from LMS um, alternatively, you can download it from from my laboratory lab website as well. Okay, slat 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 logic, uh, because we might have some problem with LMS, right? So we can download. You can download the material from my laboratory. So we will have um, the lecture will start from six o'clock to uh, half past two. Half past. Yeah, half past two, half past eight actually. <laughs> I have to say it in English, so half past eight. So we will start, uh, uh, you know, very quite sharply on this, on six six o'clock. So we will uh, have lecture on this loom throughout the 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 course. Um, the great policy that I think will be on this. We will have a lot of assignments. We will have a lot of homework actually. Every day. And not every day, every week <laughs> we will have uh, some homework and I will provide some solution and spend some time on discuss, discussing on the solution as well. But will be a li very little. I will choose some question which are, you know, uh, worth discussing. Um, we have midterm, that will be 30% of the, the whole the whole mark and the final will be 50 percent. I'm not sure if I will have time to go through all the all your homework but I will give you the solution instead. Okay. The textbook for this course will be this one. Rosen. Okay, this one. I think you can find it in the bookshop. Okay. I don't know the price now but it should be cheaper then you can buy it outside. So we have a lot of references. Um, these are the references that I use. I'll, I'll have um, some of the reference will be uh, electronic one. So this means I have um, a file for this paper. For example, this one, Petronet. And some papers on, on color Petronet as well. I will have some file. You can download it from the 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 web the, the lab website and I will give you some uh, papers to read to read as well. So what are the objectives of this course? So this this discrete mathematics, okay? It's a very easy subject. So the aim of this course is to provide you a foundation for general kind of discrete mathematics. Okay, this script mathematics is a very wide area. There are many things in this script mathematics. But I'd just like to give you a very little foundation for this script mathematics. And we will discuss some advanced topics. Very few. Okay. Perhaps two of them uh, in this course. Two advanced topics on this script mathematics. If we want to describe the uh, discrete mathematics in this course, I can divide it into two kinds. The first one is the general kind of discrete mathematics, which will cover topics like, uh, you know, function relation, that is very basic stuff, mathematical proof techniques, complexity of algorithm, induction in recursion, logic theory, graph tree, and so on, and automata, 
this is very interesting topic. So this is a very general kind of discrete mathematics. But in this course, I would like to focus on two advanced topics on discrete mathematics. It is about prologue and Petrinet. Okay. Prologue is just like we create a programming language based on logic. Okay, we will study logic theory, but we will st also study an implementation of that logic as a programming language. We call it prologue. Okay, and the second advanced topic is Petrinet. This Petrinet is just applied graph theory. Okay, we will study on this applied graph theory how we can use this Petrinet to model things. Actually, there are many more advanced discrete mathematics, but we are not able to cover all of them. Okay. So, in general, I will make sure that I will cover a uh, basic topic on discrete mathematics, which is the upper one, okay, in a very uh, general and you know conceptual level. But the second part of discrete mathematics, I will make sure that you have some ex some um, some understanding on this. We might run some program, write some program in Prolog and run it. We might use some programming tools for Petronet to create some graph to understand thing about Petronet, for example. Okay. But uh, let me explain also what. This course is not about, it's not a pure math course, okay? Because when we talk about discrete mathematics, normally we mean a lot of pure mathematics. But this course is not about pure mathematics. We are not going to prove things here. I'm not going to, you know, prove everything that we're going to see. <laughs> but we will discuss on the concept, a very simple concept, okay? And I'll make sure you understand the applied topic, which is prologue and patronage, so that you will see the real use of discrete mathematics. Okay, and it's not an in-depth course as well. It's not we are not going to the deep issue on discrete mathematics. Okay, that will need many courses. You know, like a course on patronage, a course on prologue. Okay, but this is just like a general and a little bit chap chai, okay? <laughs> if you know what I mean, right? Okay. So it's a broad course which covers general topic. So we will have a lot of fun here, okay? Easy and broad, okay? So don't expect too many things here. And this term I'm busy as well. So <laughs> that is a plus for you and for me as well. So, if you look at the syllabus of this course, uh, we will have about 30 lectures, including today. Okay. Um, before midterm, we will have about six lectures, which will be about um, basic logic, which is today. We will discuss about function and a little bit on relations. That is very easy stuff, very easy today. The next lecture will be about the proof technique, the general proof techniques. Okay, you can use this proof technique to uh, prove many things. You know. We touched a little bit on recursion and induction. And we will move on to basic complexity analysis. Okay, when we, we will discuss about how to analyze the complexity of an algorithm. Okay. We will discuss a little bit on basic number theory as well. Okay. And then we will move on to logic theory and prologue. Okay, as I told you early on, prologue is a programming language based on logic. Okay, we we might um, have some exercise, uh, some assignment on writing some program, okay, and you know run those program and so on. And we will discuss graph theory after the midterm. We will discuss about three. Uh, we have two lecture on automata, 
which is a more